This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Recommended all you can eat buffet at Tokyo Station. How to make a reservation and tips. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. This video is about an all you can eat restaurant at Tokyo Station. It's a highly recommended place with plenty of luxurious dishes such as sushi and crab. We'll share detailed information on how to make a reservation and the prices for the courses, so please watch until the end. Now, let's get started! This time, we'll introduce Tokyo Station Buffet Chiso Zanmai. It's a popular restaurant for all-you-can-eat Japanese cuisine and there is a long line even before opening. It reopened in December 2023 and now there is an even wider variety of dishes. Prices start from 3,000 yen per person. It varies depending on the day of the week and the plan, so we'll explain in detail in the later part of the video. It's located on the 12th floor of the building, so we recommend the tables by the window for a nice view. This restaurant offers an all-you-can-eat buffet-style course. All courses include unlimited soft drinks. There is also flavored water with fruits available. Alcoholic beverages are not included in the all-you-can-drink option and are charged separately. The time limit for all-you-can-eat is an hour and a half for lunch and two hours for dinner. There are over 60 dishes, mainly Japanese cuisine. There are dinner-exclusive dishes, so it's recommended to come after 4 p.m. Now, let's introduce the dishes. First, we'll have sushi. There are six types, but we'll introduce four of them. The shiso leaf and squid sushi, seasoned with miso, has a nice crunchy texture. This is akamutsu, a white fish with just the right amount of fat. The salmon is topped with yuzu and grated daikon radish, so it's refreshing. Tuna has a refreshing taste and is delicious. This beef stew is exclusive to dinner time. The beef is just the right amount of fat and incredibly tender. It's seasoned with rich flavors. This is chicken seasoned with black vinegar. The refreshing tartness of the black vinegar goes well with the fried chicken. The next one is freshly fried tempura. It's recommended to eat it with Japanese-style broth and grated daikon radish. The chicken tempura is moist and tender. The conger eel tempura has a fluffy texture. It's delicious because of the broth flavor soaked into it. The shrimp is on the smaller side, but it's sweet and has a nice plum texture. This is chawanmushi. It's steamed with Japanese-style broth and eggs. It has a pleasant aroma from the flaked crab meat in it. The broth has a mild taste. There is also an oden simmered with soy sauce and bonita broth. One of the most popular ingredients is the daikon radish. It's been simmered for a long time, so it's tender enough to be cut with chopsticks. The flavor has soaked into it. This is tonjiru, a miso soup filled with plenty of pork. It has rich flavor from the pork and vegetables. You can also cook ramen by yourself. Boil the noodles, pour the soup over them, add your favorite toppings, and it's ready! It's a ramen using sea bream broth. The aroma of sea bream and the refreshing taste of yuzu are a perfect match. It's as authentic as ramen you'd have at a specialty shop. The most popular dish at this restaurant is the red snow crab. The crab is an available buffet style, so you can order it from the staff and they'll bring it to your table. By the way, there is an additional charge for adding the option for all-you-can-eat crab. We'll explain it in more detail later. Making cuts on both sides of the crab legs makes it easy to extract the meat. 
It's delicious with a subtle saltiness and a sweet flavor. Other all-you-can-eat places might offer thinner crab meat, but at this restaurant, you can enjoy thick and satisfying crab. You can order as many times as you want within the time limit. Such a luxurious all-you-can-eat experience! There is also a wide variety of desserts available. We'll introduce four particularly recommended ones. First up is a pudding flavored with a premium sugar called wasambon. It has an elegant taste. There is also a cheesecake made with wasambon. It's moist and creamy. This is warabi mochi, allowing you to enjoy the sweetness of black sugar and the aroma of soybean flour. You can enjoy a matcha flavored tiramisu. It has a subtle bitterness and pleasant aroma. The top recommendation is the waffle that you can make yourself. Put the batter in and cook for 2 minutes and it's done! Top it off with soft serve ice cream and drizzle some sauce. We selected matcha and milk soft serve with matcha sauce. The hot waffle with the soft serve melting into it is even more delicious. It's fun to customize with my favorite toppings. By the way, we'll introduce the new Kit Kat product released on December 4th, 2023, a popular Japanese snack. It has two layers of milk chocolate and white chocolate. It's sweeter and tastier than the classic milk chocolate flavor. We'll also briefly introduce other popular snacks in Japan. This is a stick-shaped potato chip. The aroma of seaweed and just the right amount of saltiness are nice. This is a bite-sized donut. The chewy dough contains sweet red bean paste inside. This one is a fried rice cracker flavored with soy sauce. The sweetness of honey and the crispy texture are addictive. By the way, you can enjoy all four of the snacks we just introduced while staying at your home. That's Tokyo Treat, the subscription service for these snacks. Tokyo Treat is a box filled with famous Japanese national brand snacks and soft drinks that you can find in convenience stores and supermarkets. In January, box contains a variety of snacks themed around a New Year's party. It also includes instant soba noodles. You can eat it with simple preparation. This is CC Lemon, the classic lemon-flavored soda in Japan. It has a refreshing aroma of lemon and sweetness. Next, we'll introduce traditional Japanese sweets and popular snacks from Hiroshima. This is a bite-sized taiyaki. The smooth texture of the sweet red bean paste is delicious. This is a banana-flavored balm kuchen. It has rich banana taste and it's moist and fluffy. This is a mochi flavored with lemon. It has a refreshing sourness from the lemon and a nice chewy texture. These are nori tempura chips. It's seasoned with olive oil and wine vinegar, making it a great snack that goes well with alcohol. By the way, you can enjoy all four treats we just introduced from the comfort of your home. It's Sakurako, the Japanese snack subscription service. Sakurako is a service that delivers traditional Japanese snacks to you every month. It's packed with precious snacks that you can only get in Japan. The January box includes snacks themed around Hiroshima Prefecture. This is azuki bean flavored tea. It has a natural sweetness from the azuki beans, giving it a mild taste. Additionally, this box includes a furoshiki with a cat pattern. Both Tokyo Treat and Sakurako come with booklets that have information on allergy labels and how to enjoy the snacks. You can purchase just one month, but if you choose a subscription plan, you can get it at a lower price. You can get a discount by using this coupon code, so please make sure to use it. Which one would you choose, Tokyo Treat or Sakurako?
Enjoy Japanese snacks that you can fill the season while staying at home. Now, let us explain how to get to the restaurant and the prices. Tokyo Station is very spacious, so if you take the wrong exit, it can become challenging to reach your destination. The closest exit from the restaurant we introduced this time is the Yaesu North exit. Once you exit the ticket gate, after about a minute's walk, you'll arrive at Daimaru, a department store that has the restaurant. It's a large department store spanning 13 floors from basement level 1, and it houses some high-end shops. On the basement floor, there are many takeout-only shops. It's recommended to buy a bento there and enjoy it on the Shinkansen. The restaurant we visited this time is on the 12th floor. The 12th floor is the main floor for restaurants with over 10 establishments. You can go without making a reservation, but if you want to book, it's recommended to use a website called Auto Reserve, where you can change the language to English, Korean, and others. First, select the number of people and the date and the time. Next, you'll choose the plan. Once you enter your phone number, you'll receive a text message with the number on your smartphone. After entering the number you received along with your name, the reservation will be completed. There is a link to the website in the description box. Now, let us explain the course prices. The course we ordered, which includes all you can eat crab, is priced at 8,600 yen per person for dinner on holidays. The all you can eat course without crab is 4,200 yen per person. Lunch is cheaper, but it's recommended to go after 4 p.m. because there are more varieties of dishes available for dinner. For all courses, the prices on weekdays are 200 yen cheaper than on holidays. There is a wide variety of dishes, and it's rare to find restaurants in Tokyo that offer all-you-can-eat crabs, so you should give it a try. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!